2016 Waynesburg University Sports Announcing Camp, Ben Schneider, coming to us all the way from Newcastle, Delaware, back with us, Ben. Uh, nice to see you again. You're actually you over there. Sorry about that. Uh, and uh, first time this afternoon, uh, well, second time this afternoon, we have had a sort of a local, uh, Jonah Phillip from Peters Township, Pennsylvania. Jonah, welcome. Thank you. And uh, for those who are not familiar with Peters Township High School, if you can give people a little insight into the uh, sort of the sports landscape and also uh, where your actual hometown is, things of that nature. Well, my hometown is McMurray. It's about 15, 20 minutes from Pittsburgh, if you take the long way. Uh, sports around Peters Township, not too high on football. Got a, got two wins cranked out last year. Last time we won the <laughs> conference was 75. Um, we're very good at soccer and hockey, actually. We won states within the last three years in each of those at least once. Uh, but other than that, nothing too high going on in Peters Township. Pretty good basketball program. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nice our, our golf basketball. program, tennis yeah. program. Okay, yeah, golf is good. And Peters Township, the Indians, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Tell us about Nick Valentick. Nick Valentick. I actually haven't got to see a whole lot of hmm. basketball games, but I know he's coming on a scholarship to Waynesburg University. Whoa, whoa. No scholarships. <laughs> no scholarships. But he's coming. He's Nothing coming in to Division Waynesburg. Division three. yeah. I was wrong. That's all right. Uh, yeah, Division three, no scholarships, but uh, excited to hear that, and uh, we welcome him. And anyone else from Peters Township like to have Jonah here. Now, you are going into your senior year, right? Right. So we would like to see Jonah here. Uh next summer getting ready to come to Waynesburg same with Ben who will be a senior at again your high school Tallux classical school there we go uh, so we got the Titans we've got the Indians uh, kind of looking at things here uh, of course right now in the city of Pittsburgh uh, the parade uh, for the Pittsburgh Penguins I'm guessing I you would have to know it's, it's been wrapped up yeah uh, as we get into 2:30. Um, now we talked about the uh, the fl the Phillies and the Pittsburgh Pirates a little bit last time uh, with Ben, talking mostly about the Phillies. But let's go ahead and move to hockey, where the Flyer-Penguin rivalry still very hot. Uh, we've talked a lot about the Penguin goalie situation with Marc-Andre Fleury and Matt Murray. Uh, now, I have to ask Ben, uh, are you a Flyers fan? Are you a hockey guy? I, I do follow them a little bit. I haven't followed them as much in recent years, but uh remember watching them in the Stanley Cup Final six years ago so I know a few of the names but don't follow them as closely as I probably should now is uh, is Delaware pretty much uh, and now obviously Delaware not a large state but is it pretty much all fly is it pretty much all Philadelphia supporters or is or is there another sort of market that leaks into there I'd, I'd say Baltimore kind of leaks in and <coughs> obviously Baltimore is just Ravens Orioles don't have a basketball or hockey team but I would say at, on on the whole, it's mostly the Philadelphia sports region. Well, you know, regardless of where you are in the country, uh, probably the biggest news in the NHL is the uh, announcement that if there is expansion, it looks like it will happen, that Las Vegas is going to get its first major professional sports franchise. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the positives and negatives about pro sports in Las Vegas. Uh, obviously, the biggest positive, there's a ton of money there. Um, a lot of exposure. It's a big celebrity area. You get a lot of that sort of, exper uh, of experience. But it's sort of a double-edged sword. If you put a franchise there, a lot of guys in their 20s, early 30s, with a lot of money and a lot of temptation out there. Let's kind of look at it, uh, get your guys' opinion. Do you think that this move to Las Vegas for a pro sports franchise is something that will ultimately be good for the franchise itself and for the NHL? I think it's uh, I think it's definitely got its cons. You could look at you know Las Vegas being the city that it is. There might be some trouble that you know the team and the fans would have to watch out for. But I think as a whole, long term, it could bring some revenue to the city. And I think you look at the basketball side of it, having some summer league in Las Vegas. There's been some talk if the NBA ever wanted to get to the point of expansion again, that would be one of the cities that they look at. So I think a few years down the road, it could be a good move for both the city and the league. I think it's about time. I mean, we have a professional sport team in almost every major city. I'd say just about every major city well-known throughout the uh, country. And it's odd to me that Las Vegas hasn't gotten the team so far. I think it's perfect. I think if you want to be worried about people going out and maybe partying with the temptation of Las Vegas, I think it's just a place where 
players can prove themselves and prove their maturity. So I think you could have a good team there who will have to learn how to be mature. And I think, again, with all the funds they'll have, I think you're going to have a really solid team and a great location where they can really bring even more liveliness to a city that already has a lot of that. Now, when you look at the major sport, uh, major sports leagues in uh, the country, obviously the NHL right now, uh, a pretty distant fourth behind the NFL, the NBA, Major League Baseball. So a much bigger story uh, that I think is still going on, maybe even overshadowing this new NHL franchise, potentially, uh, is the Oakland Raiders and the talk about moving the Raiders to Las Vegas. Um, just, Do you think that it's odd that the NHL... I mean, let's face it, it's hockey. You're going out to the desert to play hockey. Now there are the Coyotes, there's the Los Angeles Kings, the Sharks, things of that nature. But you're moving a traditionally cold-weather sport into Las Vegas versus a franchise, especially one like the Oakland Raiders, who's been known for being flashy and and doing things uh, that get a lot of attention. Do you find it odd at all that the NHL would be there before the NFL, or do you think it's it's in the NHL's best interest because they need that extra attention, whereas the NFL does not? I honestly do find it uh, kind of odd considering that the well I find the whole landscape of actually the NFL teams kind of odd because they don't have a team in California or at least a team like that would have a bigger name in California more so Uh, I don't know Uh, it's odd that NHL would get there first but uh, I think it's important that the NFL eventually does get there because I think they do need to spread it out to bigger cities as far as their teams go I do think it's odd, but I'm not surprised at all that the NHL got there first because, like you said, they are just in fourth, and they need that extra revenue and attention. And I think, you know, you look at the Rams moving to Los Angeles this summer, there are a lot of people in St. Louis that definitely aren't happy about that at all. So I think if you were trying to get the Raiders to move to Las Vegas, the NFL is going to have a difficult time doing that. Very good points made as we're just about to the bottom of the 2 o'clock hour. Gentlemen, thank you very much. And we'll be back with more sports talk on 99.5 The Hive, your home for everything Waynesburg.